Welcome everybody to my presentation of the simulation of life from Magma. When I wanted to, when I was choosing what to do for this topic, I didn't really know what to do. I knew I wanted to do Mike Miller, but I didn't know how I wanted to present it. I knew that I could give you just the biography of his whole life, basically tell you everything you could probably read from Wikipedia. But I knew that really wouldn't be personal. So I decided to instead talk about the last months of Mike Miller. Specifically, I wanted to talk about his last album that he ever dropped, Post Swimming. I wanted to talk about this album, give you a brief history of everything, and then go into it. So join me right now as we warm up and we get some context. I'll give you a little bit of backstory of what how the album was made, what he was going through. Then we'll dive into the actual album. I'll give you a little analysis of the songs and we'll give you a little teaching of what Michael and White was trying to say. And then after that, we will surface in the water and we will apply how we can take this album into our own lives. So join me now as we warm up with some context. Swimming was Mac Miller's album, also known by his actual name, Malcolm James McCormick. It was his fifth and last album that he ever created. Mac Miller was known for his evolution music that changed throughout the years he grew up. He had, some, he had five studio albums with some mixtapes under his belt too. His, one of his first mixtapes that he ever did was Kids. Kids was pronounced as a frat boy album. It pronounced, basically the album was Mac Miller talking about having fun in life and doing what he wanted to because he was young. But then as Mac Miller grew up, he threw, he made another mixtape called Faces. Faces was done during a period of Mac Miller's roughest times where he kind of experimented a little bit more joined with some friends and talked about personal things that were going through his life. Then as he grew up and he got into relationships, Mac Miller dropped the fourth album called Divine Phenomenon. This album was Mac Miller's life of story of his romance. He talked about his romance that he was in and the aspects of in the emotional aspects, religious aspects, and just basically what he thought romance was. Talking about romance, during, during a while he was making this album, Mac Miller was dating pop star Ariana Grande. They were dating for two years, and because they were big celebrities, all their life was basically put out to the public. No matter where they went to, there were all pictures, and everything that they were doing was put out for everybody to see. And it was evenly put out when, after two years of dating, they eventually broke up, and their whole life was put out onto Twitter, and then all the social media got, got all the information out of it and basically always showed up in their face. They especially showed up when Ariana Grande started dating Pete Davidson soon afterwards, and then also got engaged. Because of the big exposure of this and how much the media was covering it, people were wondering what Mac Miller was thinking. All eyes, millions of eyes around him, his fans, and also Ariana Grande fans who got to know him through her. They were all wondering what was going through his head and what he was thinking. All this attention that Mac Miller got basically named going to a hiatus for months, where he kind of stepped back from social media and basically tried to work on himself. But this got people a little bit worried, because Mac Miller had previously talked about dealing with issues like anxiety and depression. He had also been very open about his drug abuse and how he was addicted to many things that he used for coping. This was something that he was now really proud of, but he wasn't ashamed of, because he was trying to work on. Although many people were ultimately worried when he broke up with Ariana Grande and she got engaged, because they didn't really know how people would react. But to people's surprise, Mac Miller ended up coming back and dropping some singles before making an album. He, drew, he dropped three singles, Small Worlds, Self Care, and then What's the, what's the Use. At the same time, after dropping those three singles, he also took the time to pronounce his new album, which would drop August 3rd, 2018. Later in an interview, after dropping his album and asked what he did this, Mac Miller said that when he made this album, he basically just wanted to tell people that he was okay and that he was in the state of mind he was, he wasn't really worried. Now that we actually got some context, I want you to dive, I want you to go with me and dive into the actual album as I give you some analysis of the song the songs. Swimming is a hour, it's about an hour long album with 13 songs. I can't really give you analysis of every song, otherwise we spend hours in this room, which I would be glad to do. But I know you guys want to go home afterwards. So I'll just give you a little bit of analysis of what song, songs mean, what you can take in the universal topics that he has in his album. 
first of all, I want to talk about the actual sound of the music. He got the Mac Miller on the, his hiatus. He got people to work with him, such as Thundercat and a fellow rapper called J. Cole. He got these people to actually help him produce and make his music, make this album be a little bit different. This album is basically jazz rap with a little psychedelic in there. It's probably Mac Miller's more melodic and mellow album that's created. Now, if we actually get to the topics, there are a bunch of different things that I could say. My first one that I'm going to talk about is water. Now, when it comes to swimming, it's going to have some reference to water. And this is actually seen throughout the album. He has references like keep my head above the water or jump in and swim. And in this particular instance, water is basically a metaphor for anything that's going on in life. Whether it's depression, anxiety, problems in life, or anything that's pulling you back, water is a metaphor or something that you feel stuck in, they have to keep your head above the water and keep swimming. One of the other many topics it has in this album is the idea of time. Time, Mac Miller has talked about being something that he's always confused about, about how it can be both very precious and be something you can almost have a lot of. In this album, he kind of goes into depth of having, of being famous, having free time to do a lot of things, but also not having enough time to do the things he wants. I think that's something that we can relate to, is the idea that we have time to do things we want, and sometimes we don't. Another thing that he talks about in this album is basically self-care and self-acceptance. Mac Miller has talked about everything that's on his past, and he's trying to accept himself for what he has done, and basically let himself be a better person. This is shown in a lot of his songs. Like one of his small worlds, he talks about win or lose, win or lose, I don't keep count, nobody's checking. He's talking about all the mistakes in London life and everything that he's done and still being able to accept himself for who he is. That's just some of the universal topics that we could all get a hold of. But there's also some topics that he personally has. In the 13 of songs, there's at least three songs that I want to talk about. Self-care, which is Mac Miller talking about his relationships, everything that his past, and basically just still taking care of himself from what's happened. Wings is basically getting rid of the past, getting his wings, and being able to move forward. And then Ladders is a song, it says probably this least positive song, was he kind of questions the idea of after getting his wings, if he can still move forward, and if he will go back to the life he was. But at the same time, he has a positive attitude that believing that he can do what he wants, and that he will be able to get away from this. Ultimately though, from all these topics, swimming is basically one big topic about emerging, about submerging. It's about feeling like you have submerged into water, in this case, water being anything in life that controls you, and then feeling like there's a, you find a light and that you're able to swim up to it, and that you're able to keep going. Now that we dove into the album, I want you to come with me as we try to surf, uh, surf off the water and see what we can apply to our own lives. Now, I wouldn't be able to tell you about Mac Miller if I didn't bring up what happened in September 7, 2018. Mac Miller was found dead in his studio city of overdose. This became a big shock to many friends and family members. Although he has talked and openly talked about the drug abuse, many friends and family members knew that Mac Miller was trying to get his act together and ultimately become a better person. And this also became a shock to many fan members because after releasing, after releasing Swim, he talked about making a tour and then he talked about making a tour and then going out to do interviews about this album. Many people were wondering when it happened. And even though afterwards, the autopsy showed that it was an accident, or that it was an accident, many fans thought that uh, that swimming was basically a suicide note from Mac Miller saying his last goodbye. But actually, it's kind of the opposite. Mac Miller's last album wasn't a goodbye, but a rather hello to a new life he was trying to get to. Swimming was an, independent, was an album about being independent being self-loving and trying to be a better person. He was trying to get away from the life that he used to be, while accepting the things he did, but knowing that even though he did some things, it didn't define who he was. And knowing that even though he had broken up with somebody and it was out in the public, that didn't define who he was. And he didn't need somebody to rely on all the time, that he could take care of himself. And I think that's something that we can rely on, we can put into our own lives, knowing that even though our past is always there, we can always move forward. So that was basically Mac Miller's swimming. Please.
warmed up a bit, getting some context of the actual album. We dove into the album and saw what some analysis were, and then we surfaced from the water as we implemented as we implemented what we learned and how we could put it to our lives. I hope that you learned something from this out. I hope you learned something from this presentation and that you may take a time to check us out this album. And if you don't, at least hope you take one thing. That no matter what happens in life, no matter what you're doing, if you feel like you're in ocean, if you feel like you're stranded somewhere, or you feel like you can't keep moving, just do what Mac and Lib was trying to say. Thank you.